What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're going over the KZ400 behind me. We're gonna hopefully be able to bring it back to life. A few weeks ago, I cleaned the carbs. Now we are working on the wiring. Got this bike. This engine was in three boxes. The frame was all disgusting. More disgusting than it is now. And there was just so much wrong with it. I had brought it back. I was able to get the engine back together. Um, I did have the covers a long time ago, and so on and so forth. I was able to ride it around. The wiring harness I made like six years ago, this is what it was. You know, it was just a few wires, just hanging off the sides, you know, just had all the important stuff that I needed. I'm not even sure my headlight worked at the time. Get rid of all these old wires. Um, I can't find my soldering iron though. So I think we're gonna go with the good old fashioned race car twist. I believe that's what it's called. Um, but kind of just wanted to get it running, you know, if it will start up, if we can change out all this stuff, I will be a happy man. So let's see if we can get it running. Um, I'm really excited. If we can, this will be its first start in I think five, six years, something like that. Gonna take about an inch of this off here. Maybe. Can't find my wire strippers, I can't find my soldering iron. It just moves, so it's probably in some box. I was debating on if I should just go buy new ones, but I decided against it because I know I got some somewhere. All right, so actually, let's take a little more of this off. Twisting it around here, having the blade. Got a little incision in there and hopefully, yeah, see, opens it up right there. So, pull it off. Boom, all right. Twist that around. And we gotta do the same to this blue wire. But first, we need to cut this off. Boom. Perfect. So, if you don't have a soldering iron, a lot of people just twist it. But the best way to do this, you're gonna twist both of these. And you're gonna take this, put it right at the piece there, and then right where they intersect where the uh, insulations touch. And then you're gonna twist it again super tight. Super tight, a lot of people are just gonna fold this straight down. What you wanna do is bend it like that. You're gonna take it about halfway in the middle and bend it on itself. Boom. So now you got this little bend on the inside here. Just like that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and we're gonna bend it the same way we just bent that last one. 
and squeeze it together. It's just gonna look just like this. And then we're gonna take some heat shrink. Take your heat shrink. And we're gonna take a heat shrink and the lighter. You want something a little bit bigger than the wire because this piece where the wires were uh, connected at kind of pops out a little bit so um, not too big this one should work perfect if you're closing it off don't forget to put your heat shrink before otherwise you're gonna have to do it all over again Take the lighter, heat it up. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Oh, that's tight. Perfect. This plugs in here. Wherever it went. Okay, if this plugs in, then we can just sweet. All right, so what we'll do? Cut this. We'll just do that same thing we did before. That should give us enough for the wire. There we go, all right. Okay, now we're gonna put this on so we don't forget, like last time. And then take it, cross it over. Sweet, and um, I'm not gonna heat this right now because this won't be a permanent one, um, but it will work for right now. Let me clean this off from all the first electrical tape from last time. So I'll just call this a day here. Plug this on in. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this, strip this one again too. what I'm thinking I think right now let's just connect it straight to the positive put the negative terminal on and we'll check to see if we're getting any spark and uh, we'll go from there all right um, these two are both going to be going to our positive this one doesn't have enough wire so let's take some off this There we go, all right, now we got this. So, twist these two together. And then, let's smash it into here. Once we get the positive on, or the negative on.
Alright, negative connected. Battery should be charged. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, we get some spark. Yes. All right, that's it's in there a little bit. So if we get spark between that little gap there, then we know that I did something correct here. So let me go ahead and. Spark plug, no one to strip it. Let's give it a shot. Alright guys, that, that's it for this video. I'm done, I'm gonna go celebrate. Um, thank you guys all so much for watching. This is my KZ Projects, KZ400. It's running baby, first time running in years. Let's go.